Welcome back everybody, I'm Brian Bogert and I am so excited to be back today for episode 36 of Bogert's Bullets. Today we're gonna to talk about turning in. All problems can become smaller when you don't dodge them but confront them. Turning in is the idea of not shying away from challenges, not shying away from discomfort, not shying away from growth opportunities or, or breakthrough moments that could exist in your day. Turning in is the idea of literally just that, turning in. Turning in with your energy, turning in with your thought process, turning in with your ideas, desires, and passions to be able to uncover and break through those situations. So many of us retreat when faced with confrontation. So many of us retreat when we get uncomfortable, or we avoid, or we procrastinate. We don't really address the problem at hand. Turning in is the idea of doing just the opposite. Turning in is the idea of really attacking it right in the moment. I'm talking about truly discovering what is the uncomfortable feeling that you're getting. What is the conflict? What do you need to break through? And putting all of your energy and your thoughts and your mind into discovering how to get through that. It's focusing on the solutions instead of on the problems. But it's also not letting growth opportunities go just because it's uncomfortable. This happens every day in relationships, in conversations. And those of you that are in a sales or a development role know this all too well. Buyers are liars and oftentimes we know in our gut that they're not telling us exactly what needs to be said, but and frankly what they think we want to hear. And as salespeople to get to the next level, to break through those opportunities, you've got to turn into that. You've got to turn in and really set the stage for an opportunity for trust in that environment. And really set the stage so that they understand that you really have high intent to be able to figure out if and how you can help that person. But if they're not telling you something and you feel like there's a little bit of discomfort in the moment, don't lose the opportunity to find a way to approach that, to address that, to have a conversation about that. Too often I see people shy away from it and feel like we had a really good meeting and walk away and don't really uncover what's really most important and guess what, that prospect goes quiet. They go radio silent and all of a sudden you can't explain it. It was that little bit of discomfort that you picked up in that meeting that you didn't address in the moment. You see, by turning in with the right energy, you actually create a stronger trust between you and that prospect. And regardless of the outcome, you'll have the ability to gain answers, they'll have the ability to gain clarity. Then what will be, will be. But you'll both leave it all out on the table because you had the courage to turn in. So this idea of turning in, that's one example. But it really exists in everything that we do. So how do you challenge yourself so instead of shying away from an opportunity or dodging a problem, how can you turn in? How can you confront it? And how can you do it from a genuine place with the right energy so that you can get the best outcome, particularly if it involves other people? If it involves just yourself and a barrier that you've reached in your life, that's when you attack. That's when you go at it. Because you don't have to worry about the impressions of others, but you can absolutely push yourself to that next nice level. So I just ask yourself, when faced with confrontation, whether by yourself or in a conversation or with other people, do you dodge it or do you turn in? I challenge you to turn in, the problems become easier, the growth becomes faster, and you will identify breakthrough moments in your life.